Mattress Anatomy 101. The comfort layer is the quilted fabric top and underlying foam. The support layer is made up of the interior coils and heavy gauge wire along the perimeter. The foundation, or box spring, is a separate bottom unit that acts like a giant shock absorber. For thousands of years, people slept on the floor on pallets. Mattresses stuffed with natural materials such as straw, wool, or feathers. During the Middle Ages, family members would set down their pallets around the home's central fireplace. Only royalty and the wealthy had separate sleeping quarters and mattresses that sat off the floor on a wooden frame called a bedstead. Beds didn't become common in middle-class homes until the 1600s. The comfort layer, or quilt, starts with ticking, a cover fabric made of polyester or cotton polyester. Under that are layers of polyester cloth, foam and fiber. Luxury mattresses contain wool, silk or cashmere fiber. The assembled layers go into an automated sewing machine. It's computer programmed to stitch one of several quilted designs. A roller compresses the thick pile to enable the eight centimeter long needles to pierce through all the layers. The two polyester sheets inside the quilt are essential. One is directly under the ticking. It acts as a barrier to prevent scratchy fibers from poking through the top of the mattress. The other is at the bottom of the quilt. It holds the stitches in place, preventing the thread from moving around inside and ripping the foam. A cutting wheel now trims the quilt to twin, double, queen or king size, leaving an extra five centimeters all around. This surplus ensures the foam will reach all the way to the edge once the quilt's sewn up. The sewing table is air cushioned like an air hockey table. This floats the quilt, enabling the seamstress to maneuver it easily. As she stitches the quilt closed, she trims off the excess and sews a polyester band to the underside along the perimeter. Meanwhile, an automated sewing machine produces the mattress sides from the same ticking used for the quilt. It stitches the fabric to a centimeter thick foam sheet, making a quilted design. Low-end mattresses have unquilted side fabric. Elsewhere in the factory, as we see here in slow motion, automated machines produce the guts of the mattress, the coils. Low-end mattresses contain continuous coils, rows of springs formed out of one long strip of steel wire. Better mattresses contain individual coils, each formed from a separate piece of wire. This machine is producing open coils, a type of individual coil used in mid-quality mattresses. Open coils have an hourglass shape and are made of steel. Luxury mattresses contain pocket coils, individual coils that are barrel shaped and made of steel, manganese and carbon, a high strength combination of metals. The coils are individually wrapped in cloth pockets to prevent them from tangling together. This machine is producing open coils. It first heats the wire with an electric current to make the metal flexible. Once it forms the coil, it curls the two ends of the wire like a pig's tail. This pigtail finishing prevents the sharp ends from poking through the mattress surface. They line up the open coils in rows, then feed them into a machine that connects them by running long strips of pigtailed wire along the tops and bottoms. Using pigtailed wire again, workers attach thick steel edge wire along the top and bottom perimeters and steel brackets called edge guards at strategic points along the sides. These supports are what keep the mattress firm when you sit on the edge. Pocket coils are glued to each other at the center. This enables them to move independently so that motion on one side of the bed won't affect the other side. A reinforcement netting holds the coils in position. 
Workers attach the edge wires and edge guards to the outer coils with thick staples. The rest of the assembly process is the same for all types of mattresses. After adding two layers of foam, workers attach a quilt to the top and bottom by stapling the polyester band on the quilt's underside to the metal components. The final step is to attach the sides. A special machine called a mattress closer joins them to the quilts with a reinforcement strip made of durable fabric. If you have any comments about the show, or if you'd like to suggest topics for future shows, drop us a line at www.howitismade.net. The How It's Made Crew Vehicle is courtesy of Subaru Canada. Anatomy 101. The comfort layer is the quilted fabric top and underlying foam. The support layer is made up of the interior coils and heavy gauge wire along the perimeter. The foundation or box spring is a separate bottom unit that acts like a giant shock absorber. For thousands of years, people slept on the floor on pallets. Mattresses stuffed with natural materials such as straw, wool, or feathers. During the Middle Ages, family members would set 